हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन कूल आई टी हेल्थ एंड टूडे दिस इज एनदर वीडियो ऑफ जावा एफेक्ट्स सीरीज सो हेयर इन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी देर इज अ ट्री व्यू हैविंग द चेक बॉक्सेस सो समवेयर इन द एप्लीकेशन इफ वी नीड अ सच काइंड ऑफ ट्री व्यू वेयर यू नीड टू हैव अ चेक बॉक्स with the tree items then we will use the tree view to use this tree view we need to add a control fx jar in the project class path so i will explain you with the example the same structure i have uh, shown in this uh, image so we will create the same uh, inside the code so let's get started so this is the our tree is the target that we going to implement so first uh, this is the first node is college which is the tree node and you can see that and uh, there are four child nodes connected with this tree node so first on math and uh, the math has two child node student 1 and student 2 and the physics has two child node student 3 and student 4 and uh, english has no child node and uh, the last one biology has a two students 5 and 6 so let's see has in the net beans i have created a simple java fx project so in this java fx project we have three major files first one fxml document second one is fxml document controller and third one is the tree view example.java so this is our java file which has a start method now you can see at the line number 17 org.controlfx.control check tree view item so you need to add first go to the project right click choose properties and go to the libraries and here you can see that i have added the control fx 8.40.13 jar in our project class path so you can get this jar from the description box i have given the link so you can directly download this as well as it is available on the java website now let's start <clears throat> this is our start method as in the previous example we have seen the start method method which is the starting point of the application here i am going to do the small changes i am taking the anchor pen which will which will act as a container so i will place our tree view on this anchor pane then i will add this anchor pane on the stage so at line number 66 i am adding the tree view object inside the pen so this is so here our check box tree view this is the root item so first we will create this item come to the code at line number 34 you can see that check box tree item is the class that will be used to create the tree item check box tree item where the default check box will be appeared just before the item okay so create the instance and pass uh the string which is college so it will create a child node it is the detached item it is not connected with the tree so first we will create these all individual items then we will connect into the tree structure okay now come back to the code in the similar way i have created another check box tree item class and i have given the name object this is item 1 and the new checkbox tree item and this is math this is first item of our tree view and the second one in similar way i have created the physics and the third one is biology and <coughs> fourth one is english now come to the image okay so first i created college math physics english and biology i have created these individual individual child tree view items separately after that i will connect it 
okay now come to the code now here at line number 41 so first we will do the connection of uh, math and their child item student 1 and student 2 so how we will connect it after that we will see further okay so let's focus on math then physics then english and then biology okay now come to the code <clears throat> now here you can see at line number 36 item 1 which is the object and the mathematics physics biology and english first one okay so choose the first item call the get children method dot add all and here we will pass the child item means the math subject has a two students like student 1 and student 2 so we can pass the collection of the objects one by one so i have created the anonymous object new check box tree item and given the string student 1 in the constructor comma and a new check box tree item student 2 so these two objects directly become the child of the tree item which is mathematics so math has two students student 1 and student 2 so we have done with math and these student 2 and student 1 is connected to its parent tree item math okay in the similar way i will connect the physics with its child item so we need to call the same method dot get children dot add all now create new checkbox tree item and in the constructor and as a an argument you have to pass the name of the child item which is student 3 and student 4 now we have done with physics and english has no child now come to the biology okay so biology here biology object is 3 item 3 and i will do a small change so two items student 5 and student 6 in the similar way just call the get children method dot add all and pass these two objects if you want to connect more objects if you want to connect more tree items under the biology so you can pass in a similar way as a argument or you can pass the collection or a list inside the add all method once you're done so these 5 and 6 connected with the biology so student 5 and 6 connected with the biology so first we have done with the math second we have done the physics and biology now we connect all these physics math physics biology and english with the parent item okay now the whatever we have created the root item at line number 52 and this these item 1 item 2 item 3 and item 4 will be the child of the this root item so in this way at line number 52 root item dot get children dot add all and pass all these five items that you want to be the child of root item okay so at line number 52 we have done this thing finally we will create the object of the tree that is the check tree view class so create the object of the check tree view class and pass this root item then we have complete the main process which will connect all these structure and it will show you as a tree so in the line number 55 i have passed the root item in the constructor check box tree view now finally come to the line number 67 this is the anchor pin which was the container that will hold this 
check dream view so the same way pen dot get children dot add and check tree view pass check tree view object in the add method so the tree view will be display on this anchor pan once you have done the rest of the code is uh, as usual stage dot set scene and passing the scene object finally stage dot so that will display this stage okay so uh, don't worry about this method this method is used for the action item suppose you click any node of the this checkbox tree view suppose you select any checkbox in this tree view or uh, you deselect then this method will be invoked so i have added the listener for that that will handle the actions that you're going to perform with the checkbox tree view you can see that we have passed that new listener new list change listener okay then implemented this on change method inside it okay it's very clear and a list change listener dot change and passing the object of a list change listener and here i have given a sys so system dot out dot print ln and inside it what will be printed it will print checkbox tree view dot check model dot get checked item that means if you check or uncheck any item then the corresponding name of the item will be printed on the console okay so we will run this example and we'll test it how it will give the output so this is the method which is used to handle the action that is check or unchecked action by the user inside the tree view so for, we will build this project and we'll run it okay okay build is successful okay now go to the file click on run file or you can go to the top and uh, choose the run run project okay now here the stage and uh, you can see that the <clears throat> the tree view appeared and uh, now let me expand this so on the image and we will compare what we have done so the college become the root item of all item as we expected and uh, just expand it and this is the math which is the first child item of the college okay and the math has a two child item which is a student one and a student two and this subject physics has a two more items that is student three and a student four as uh, expected english has no item because we haven't added any item child item inside it and the biology has a two more items student five and a student six so if you do a check or uncheck so if you uh, select the parent the main root item then all items will be selected that means all child item will be selected right. now you can do more experiment on it you can check or uncheck whenever you check or uncheck our implemented method on change will be invoked and the corresponding item name will be printed on the console so you can test it so this was the checkbox tree view and you can uh, use uh, whenever required in your application on the easy way if you have any doubt so please uh, comment below if you found this video useful please like and subscribe my channel and press notification bell to get new video updates thanks for watching